Hey guys, in this video today we're going to take a look at how we can secure our HTTP trigger using certificates, so TLS, SSL. Um, essentially, it's just a way where you can upload certificates to your Flow Enterprise project, um, and then it'll actually use those certificates to establish a secure connection. So to start off, you'll need a project. In this case, I'm just going to do a simple hello world, um, just because what we're looking at you know, in this video is really the HTTP trigger, so that's what really matters. So if I go to the trigger itself, Normally, um, when you actually build something out, this secure connection will be set to false, and that means you'll just be using normal HTTP. There won't be any type of you know security for your actual application. But if you're you know running these applications in production, you most likely and you know I'm, uh, I'm going to say 99% of the time you will want to have these applications secured in some way. And so what you can do is basically select true, and this will give you the option, or you're going to have to upload a server key or and a CR server certificate. And this could be done as uh, you know PEM files and things like that. So, and this this doesn't have to be something that's you know um, authenticated by a CA authority. Um, it could be a self signed cert. So, if you are running maybe not for production, but maybe if you're running things in testing environments and you just want to use self signed cert, you can do that. So, in the case of this example, I created these are or I created these certificates and keys. So, these are self signed. Um, yeah, it's just a matter of using whatever you have available within your your computer or laptop, so OpenSL or something like that. So what you do when you first start is you know select true. You're going to say browse, and then you're going to want to go to whatever folder or something like that that you have these stored. So I have these stored um, in a different folder. So let me find it really quickly. Oh, I hear self sensors. Um, so I have um, my certificate pen, my key, and then my, the CSR that I created the certificate from. And so what I would do for the server keys, I would select um, the key, pem file. So I already selected it, so I'm not gonna actually select it. And then the same thing for the certificate, I would select the uh, certificate pem file. So once you've you know selected those, what it will do is um, it will actually use the key and certificate to actually you know secure your endpoint. So once you've done that, you, you know you'll build your application out, you go in and you're gonna build your app. So let me just build this really quickly. Let us binary just you know keep it simple just to show um, how this all works and um, keep it fast. So while we're waiting for that to build, I'm gonna go to right here. I want to place it in this folder. So once it's built out, it's gonna give me the option to actually place it in there. So let's wait a few seconds for that. So it's been completed in 26 seconds, and I should get the option to choose where I want to save it. And I will save it in this folder. And it should be here now. Okay, so now I'm gonna give it executable permissions. And now I'm gonna run it. So allow access. So basically, you'll see that in the logs, I'll say enable secure connection. Um, so that's how you know that you know you've the application that you're running actually has you know that secure connection option set to true. So now you're gonna to go to your browser and let me show you something. So this is just a normal, you know, localhost 8080 greetings and then my name, this is how the app should work, connection. But notice how it says the site can't be reached, connections reset. So let me go see what the locks say and it looks like because you know, I was just you know, sending that request with just HTTP, I wasn't sending it that says that HTTPS, then it gave me an error and it's saying you know, that you're not actually able to connect to this securely, so we're not gonna accept that. So what I need to do is add HTTPS, and it's, you know, because this is a self-signed cert, um, and I haven't actually, you know, defined or given permission to this cert in my browser. It's going to give me a little you know, connection. It's not private. This may differ from browser to browser. But in this case, I'm just going to say proceed, and it's going to actually give me the message this time. So the only difference is that I added HTTPS you know, to the beginning of the actual URL, and that's telling my application, you know, use SSL or TLS to actually access this endpoint, even though it's saying not secure, but that's because it's not something that, um, you know, it's been defined or because it isn't something that's been authenticated or authorized by a CA authority. And if you go to the logs, you'll notice here, I, it says TLS unknown certificate, and this is solely because um, the actual browser itself doesn't recognize the certificate as something that's 
been um, authorized, things like that, because it is self-signed in my case. But if you do use a certificate that has been you know, purchased or has been um, basically authorized, things like that, then you, you won't see that error anymore. And if you notice the rest of the logs, um, the actual application goes through, so it you know, receives the trigger, it repeats the log message of the name that I put, and then it just gets me done. So I was actually able to run the application successfully once I uh, basically tried to access the endpoint securely. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Um, it's just a quick you know, video to show you a new feature that's available on 2.6, basically the ability to secure your HTTP REST endpoints um, in the HTTP trigger and it makes it very helpful or very useful for applications that you're, you probably want to deploy onto production environments just because you don't want to leave those um, out in the open without some sort of security. So yeah, um, feel free to check out other videos on the playlist for some more you know, cool tips and tricks. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you.